I'm trying to decide which wrapping paper to use if I want to go with this one or this one. I cannot decide. Welcome back to another video, everyone. I don't know why I always clap in the intro. Let's do that again. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to another video, everyone. It is Vlogmas Day 17. It's officially almost one week before Christmas. Tomorrow will be one week before Christmas. I'm finishing up all of my wrapping. Um, but while I did that, I thought I would take a minute to talk about undergraduate degrees for occupational therapy. I've had a lot of um, like messages and comments about picking the right undergraduate degree for occupational therapy school. So I thought I would take a minute to talk about that. But before we do that, I wanted to show you what I got for my Secret Santa gift, which is what I'm wrapping right now. Um, we do Secret Santa at work every year. And it was so funny because last year I had just transferred to a new area. So I was working for the same company, but it was in a different area. So I was on a new team and I started, I actually started my first day of the new team was at our holiday party, like the big party that I went to last week. Um, so it was really awkward because I didn't know anyone. Um, and we did Secret Santa and I didn't know who I was buying for and nobody really knew me. So it was kind of awkward. And then this year, we have two new team members, two new therapists, or a heater just came on, so I apologize for the noise. Um, but this year we have two new team members and I drew one of their names. So it's been so hard because I really don't know her that well. Um, so it's kind of random and there's always that budget to keep in mind. So you can't like get something that you would probably really wanna get. But um, I think the budget was like $15. I have a really hard time sticking to those types of budgets. But the first thing that I got her is this candle. It's from the Papyrus store, which I thought they just made cards, but they actually have a store, which we went into for the first time randomly in New York, and then I, I saw it again as I was shopping this weekend. Um, went in there, and all their candles were $10, and I thought this was so pretty, and it smells really good. It smells, the scent is pomegranate and pink lychee, lychee, I don't know. Um, I also found this calendar in the same store. Um, it's an inspiring women calendar, so each day you get to read about an inspiring woman from history. So I thought that was kind of fun. And the last thing, what every new therapist needs who's working with kids, bubbles, and look, it's a little kitty. Aw, so cute. So I've been thinking about this a lot recently and I kind of divided it up into three categories. So I kind of divided it up into three different categories in terms of how I kind of classify and think about maybe what would be best for undergraduate programs or degrees to get before going into occupational therapy. Um, the first one I kind of classify as more as like sciency based and that includes and that includes things like psychology, biology, chemistry, um, I guess more of like the science and research based um, degrees. I got my degree in psychology and I'm going to talk about that at the very end and why I think psychology is one of the best options. So you have the science based, then you have kind of what I classify as all the kinesiology based uh, degrees. So kinesiology, exercise science, um, athletic training. I think you can specify your kinesiology degree in terms of like exercise physiology, but those are more like movement-based degrees, I think, and I, I'm not sure because I didn't major in them, so I honestly don't know like how science-based and how research-based they all are, um, but I know that any of those would give you a great foundation to apply to occupational therapy because you do use a lot of like exercise science in your therapy, depending on, um, depending on what area you work in. Um, I, would, I wouldn't say I use it a lot with babies, but you know, definitely more if you were like going into a rehab setting. But the third type of degree that I kind of think about is whatever you want. <laughs> so the third option is to basically get whatever degree you want. You could go for history, you could go for art history, you could go for sociology, anthropology, engineering, business, music history, I don't know, whatever you're interested in. 
Um, some people think that if you get a degree that isn't one of those science-based ones like biology or psychology or a kinesiology degree, that that might make you stand out from the crowd. And that could be true, but I also think it's kind of risky. <laughs> um, you know, I think if you want to start your own therapy business, you know, business might be a good idea. Um, but, you know, just be careful. You're spending a lot of money to get your education, so just make sure that it's worth it. And if you really do want to go for one of those other different degrees, like art history, just, you know, really think about that choice. Although, I did have a minor in English literature, so, you know. But two other kind of side note degrees that I think um, are actually kind of good choices that aren't the typical kinesiology or psychology degree are public health and education or education slash child development. I think either one of those still fits in really well within the scope of occupational therapy, particularly if you're gonna work with kids. So education, I think that would be great if you really know 100% you wanna work with kids. And then public health, I think, ooh, it just got really quiet. <laughs> Um, and then public health in terms of patient education, knowing what's going on in the general public health space that you can apply individually um, to your clients, I think would be a really awesome perspective to bring in um, when you're applying to OT school. So yeah, education and public health, I think those would be two really interesting degrees that might make you stand out. Art history will also make you stand out, but maybe for the wrong reason. <laughs> Nothing against art history majors. Okay, I should probably start wrapping this. Oh yeah, which one do y'all think? Which one? I don't know. I think we're gonna go with this one and I'm gonna leave this one to go with the rest of my presents for my family. Um, Cause we kind of have like this really pretty theme going on. <gasps> Okay, now back to my major. So I majored in psychology with a minor in English literature. That's kind of random, but like I said, if you're interested in something, you can always add it as a minor or just take a lot of electives. Or vice versa, if you do want to major in um, like biology or kinesiology, you can just take as many electives as you want in art history and then you'll still get your degree um, in kinesiology or whatever you think will apply to OT school. Um, so yeah, I majored in psychology and the reason why, side note, I didn't pick psychology in order to get into OT school. I didn't know that I wanted to go to OT school until like my junior year, I think. Um, I didn't plan on going to OT school when I picked um, the psychology major. I was actually a biology major and I went <laughs> I went to all of the classes on the very first day. Actually, I might have gone to a full week of the first week of, um, of school and I went to all the classes and I said, this isn't for me, I don't like it. And then that night I switched my uh, major to psychology and signed up for all new classes. So yeah, there's, it's never too late to change your mind, okay? Um, but the reason that I like psychology for occupational therapy is because it gives you that science-based background. You're still gonna take all your prerequisites. Um, you're still gonna have to take anatomy and physiology, uh, biology, uh, physics, possibly chemistry. You're still gonna have to take all the prerequisites no matter what degree you choose. Um, so if you do decide to go into public health, you're still gonna have to take all of the general prerequisites for OT school. Um, and in that sense, it kind of really doesn't matter what your degree's in as long as you get all those prereqs and your grades are probably really good in those specific classes. Back to what I was saying about psychology. I think it's a really good degree because it gives you a really good foundation in terms of research. I think it helps you really think critically. Um, I think it helps you learn how to decipher and interpret uh, research and literature and then be able to apply it to your actual therapy. Um, the majority of people in my class, I would probably say majored in psychology or one of the exercise-based uh, degrees like kinesiology 
or exercise science. Um, but I will say that the people that didn't have a psychology or research background struggled more. Um, my program was pretty uh, research intensive. We, like, we did a lot of research. We had to read a lot of articles. We had to do a lot of um, critically appraised topics and, and be as research-based as possible throughout um, all of our projects and so on. Um, and I will say that people that didn't have that background, they didn't know how to use APA format. I mean, if you're a psych major, you're going to use APA. You're going to become, it's going to be like nothing. You're just going to do it in your sleep. Um, so I think it gives you, it sets you up really good for that aspect. I think psychology is a great major. And plus, I think it gives you insight into kind of like, you know, the human mind. So if you're working um, in outpatient and you're wondering like, why is that patient always canceling? Is there something else going on? It's going to help you kind of decipher, um, you know, human personality and different behaviors. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, I would definitely recommend psychology. To summarize, three different categories that I have come up with in terms of undergraduate degrees. Um, you got your science-based, like biology and psychology. You've got your movement-based, which is like kinesiology and exercise science. And the third option is to go rogue and do whatever you want. Either way, everyone's still gonna get the prerequisites and in the end, it's really going to be your observations, your volunteer hours, and your references that make you stand out as well as your interview, if there is an interview. Yay! We have a completed package. Thanks for wrapping it with me, y'all. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gave you some insight and clarification in terms of you know picking the right degree. Don't worry, don't stress out about it. I changed my degree on the first week. It's not a huge deal. Um, you've got plenty of time. Any degree is gonna work as long as you make it work for yourself and you can apply it to OT in your own way. Thanks again for watching. Countdown to Christmas. Oh, we're getting closer, oh my goodness. I'm gonna finish wrapping all of my packages and hopefully I'll see y'all tomorrow. We may be doing some baking tomorrow, so stick around for that. And I'll see you later. Bye. I just realized I didn't take any of the prices off. Of what? Of <laughs> the gifts for my secret Santa. No, because I went over budget and then everyone's gonna know. Who oh, no, I have to unwrap it. You got it on a discount, then what was on the tag? No, the candle was originally $30. And say it was on sale for 10 It was. <laughs> no.